Well, good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie here. Uh, this is a little bit different because I'm actually coming to you live right at this very moment uh, instead of on a delay, uh, mainly because I need your input. I need to some fresh thoughts and uh, some bright eyes to keep us focused on what will best serve everyone in our group. Uh, with that in mind, I uh, just I thought I'd share a little tiny bit of history. I started share, sharing the Monday check-in with you uh, back in March of 2020. Uh, since COVID-19 shut down the world four years ago, it doesn't seem possible, but that's the case. Uh, I have been sharing this that message with you. Uh, every single week and today is message number 20 or uh, 2010 <laughs> dear lord uh 210 uh and i thought it was time that we examine what we're doing in our group and this is our group it's not my group uh, and see if there are some things we want to rearrange, maybe do a little bit differently. I don't know. Uh, we'll uh, check in with each other today, off and on, as we come online, and try to come up with uh, some thoughts, maybe to do a few different things, and uh, whether or not we want to continue what we have been doing or modified in some way. Uh, while there continue to be a variety of other global trends as well as a wide range of challenges between the time COVID hit and now, our Empowering Each Other group has seems to have been able to meet each one with grace. Uh, we have grabbed onto new opportunities for de development and strategies to recover, to navigate, to adapt, to thrive, and celebrate uh, as we continue to live our best lives and achieve goals that we set. Uh, and that's very important if we continue to, give e to be able to give the maximum support we can to each other. So I really need your thoughts. Uh, and I have created and posted a very brief poll. It only has uh, four questions in it, and you could add additional information in the comments section that I really would appreciate you filling out as you have the time this week, because that will help me determine how best uh, to frame things to continue to serve uh, the needs of everyone here as we look uh, to the future. The first one is, uh, do you want the weekly check-in message to continue? Uh, I enjoy talking with you very much every single week, but are you tired of it? Are you bored with it? Uh, would you like to have it done differently? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, is Monday the best day to do this? Uh, maybe you feel a different day would be more convenient for you. I realize we cannot possibly please everybody and have it at the ideal time on the ideal day for every single person in our group, but I try to pick a time that is good for the majority of us to catch the message live if they wish and also uh, to post it on my face, uh, my YouTube page and to keep it in our group so that those who can't see it live will have an opportunity to check it out at their convenience. So with that in mind, what's your thought? Would you like a change in the day of the week? Would you like a change in the speakers? Would you like a different format, something where just one person isn't, isn't doing all the talking, but maybe other people are sharing thoughts as well? 
Um, so that's one area that I really would like your input in. And then, uh, do you want other regular features to be in our group? Uh, you know, is there something we could do on a regular weekly or monthly basis that you would find helpful to you? Uh, do you have some suggestions? You know, it's great to say, yes, I'd like other fe features, but if you can't share what you would like, then it's harder to tailor the group to meet the majority of our needs. So give it some thought and, you know, make any suggestions that you might have. And even better, if you would will be willing to offer to do something for a week or two, uh, that would be great to know. Or even if you would be willing to make a commitment beyond a week or two, that would be fabulous. Uh, I would love this to uh, just get, as spring dawns and everything is coming up fresh and vibrant, I would like us also to do a little spring cleaning in our group and freshen things up a little bit and make them a little bit different than they has always been. I know the old saying, don't change it if it's working, and that's not what I have in mind. I'm just asking you, how can we make something that is good for us even better as we move forward. Uh, the next thing uh, that I'd like you to consider, and this is a brief message today, uh, so you know, uh, it'll give you time to share your thoughts uh, during the course of the next week because I will pull the poll after a week. Uh, what discussions would be most interesting to you? Uh, what would you like me, uh, guest speakers, uh, each other to discuss? What's interesting to you? Uh, I know there's been a lot of information in the news in, on all kinds of topics, particularly uh, in the last few weeks. There's been a lot of news concerning medications for weight loss and uh, what ramifications they may have moving forward. Uh, you know, my own personal feeling on that and a strictly personal feeling that we will always have need for each other's support in our journey. Uh, no matter what else is employed, uh, whatever path we take, we still need s support to be able to continue to implement the steps needed in that path that we are choosing to take for our best health. And uh, I'm really concerned. Uh, I was reading an article in one of the uh, medical journals the other day, and I am really concerned about uh, radical choices uh, that we may make that in the long term may actually damage our health. And one of the things that I remember most when I very uh, first joined TOPS was uh, someone made the comment, your health is your, your most precious treasure. If you reach your target, whatever that be, a weight or a measure of fitness or, or whatever, a measure of health, uh, and you have lost your health in the process, what have you gained? Uh, we're not about a number on a scale. We are about helping each other live our healthiest lives uh, for as long as we possibly can. And that's so very important. So this week, uh, what I would love for all of you to do is look at the poll that has been posted in our featured section. Uh, take the time to fill it out, if you would please, and add any specifics in the comment uh, section that you would like to better define what you see as most interesting and helpful to you. And I'll check uh, everything over and uh, begin to make any changes that 
the majority of the group feel are in our best interest uh, as we move forward and hopefully we'll see a few new things and uh, continue a lot of the things we love doing already that seem to help all of us. Um, as most of you know, this is my meeting day and I'm going to be heading out very shortly. Uh, it's, Monday is always a busy day. I, in addition to my meeting, I try to run a lot of er errands as well. Uh, simply to uh, maximize the trip and the cost of the gasoline, which in our area is going up again. Um, so you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, keep the sh sun shining brightly in your heart and keep reaching out to everyone and helping each other as you do so very well uh, throughout the week. And I'll be able next week, hopefully, to share some results. Uh, if not, uh, I will do so just as soon as I can uh, process your thoughts that you will be sharing with me throughout this week. So, have a great one. Make the best of your day. Keep living your best life. And remember to take time to laugh and always, always enjoy the journey. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yes, I'm having a little problem here trying to figure out how to close this down. Isn't that silly? There we go. I found it. Now, bye again.